Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Money presented by Coors Light. I'm Luke Stuckmeyer. We are in the southwest suburbs. This is the Whistle Sports Bar and Grill in Oaklawn and it is go time. All right, let's get this started with my guy Rick. Rick, where are you from? Uh, Indian Head Park. All right, so you're right. You've seen the show, right? Yes, I have. You know how we play. Yes, sir. You know you could be a big winner. Yes, sir. Or you could be embarrassed. Yeah, it'll happen. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, you know your stuff. Are you ready for Bulls trivia? Sure. Here we go. $10 question, Rick. To which team was Nikola Mirotic traded to during the 2017-2018 season? Uh, the New Orleans Pelicans. Boom. See, I told you. $10. Little day. Oh, even a little dance for us, huh, Rick? Very nice. You want to keep going? Yes, sir. You're sure? I'm positive. Okay. Get it wrong, I take it back. I know. Okay. $20. The high game for the Bulls in the 2017-2018 season was 38 points by a Bulls player. He came off the bench. Who was it? Hmm. High game for the Bulls last year was 38 points. It was a bench player. Who was that player? I'm thinking it was Levine. I'm not positive, though. What are, so you're thinking it's Levine? Do you have another name in your head, or you're pretty set on it? I'm thinking maybe he came in, he eased him back in, and he or came could, off the bench. Or could it be Nikola again? When he, when he, I'll go with Nikola. Miritich. You're going to go Miritich yeah, off the bench. Off the for bench. 38. Yeah. We did have that one hot stretch of the season yeah. where he was pretty good. You're sure that's the name you want to go with? Sure. Bobby Portis. Portis, okay. Bobby Portis, I gotta take the money back. Hey, good effort. You're gonna come out next season, I yes, hope. Yes, sir. Thank you, had a good time. Okay, Robert, I've got your money right here. We're just gonna lay it out there, $130. Okay. You're gonna try and win it with a little Cubs trivia on I beer am. money. I am gonna try to win it with a little Where are you from, sir? Uh, sh southeast side of Chicago. I'm a Southside Cub fan. Really? That yeah. could be lonely sometimes, it huh? It can be, it can be. But not as lonely as it used to be. No, not as lonely as it used to be, so. You know. Here we go, $10, you ready? Yeah. What is your favorite show to watch during rain delays? Uh, sh CSN Chicago, rain delay theater. Yeah, what do we run usually? What do you run? You What's run the name of the show? Uh, what's the name of the Chicago? what's the name of the show? Uh, oh, the name of the show is Beer Money. That's my yes, favorite show. yes. That's <laughs> what I mean. Yeah. Same favorite show to watch yeah. during rain delay. Uh, I'm, I ought to take all of this. You ought bet. to take you it all. Yeah, yeah, fast enough for me. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna give you the ten. All right. Even though it was I'm a little. I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna touch it yet. You know, it's so. a little slow, yeah, Robert. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> all right, your twenty dollar question, right. Anthony Rizzo. Chris Bryant, Jason Hayward. Which of these Cubs is not six feet, five inches tall? Jason Hayward. Rizzo, Bryant, and Hayward, you're saying the one that is not 6'5 is Jason Hayward. The one that's not 6'5. One of them is not 6'5, two of them are. I know Bryant's 6'5. Okay, so now it's down now to Rizzo down or to Hayward. Rizzo or Hayward. I'm gonna say Rizzo is not 6'5. So now you've changed from Hayward to Rizzo. I have. You're right. Anthony Rizzo is six foot three inches foot tall. Three Hayward is six five. There you go. So yeah. now you've got your $30. Yeah. This is where the game's tricky. Yeah. Your favorite game, your yeah. favorite show, My Beer Money. My favorite show. I watch it during every week. Let's see. Okay, so you want to risk the 30 and go for the $100 question, or you want to just stop and take your 30? You know, I always tell people yeah. stop and take the 30 because yeah. it's a lot easier sitting at home that it is sitting in a bar. That is so true. I should do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. <laughs> so every time you watch the show, you think that dummy should just take right. the money. Now and I get to be the dummy. Who goes for it? All right, here we go. Hundred dollar okay. question. You're risking it all. Yes, I am. Who is the last Cub to steal 40 bases in one season? Okay, last Cub to steal 40 bases yeah. in one season. Uh, By the way, I love the Mickey Mouse shirt. Thanks, very Disney nice. and the Cubs. Are yeah, very nice. Things. Last Cub to steal 40 bases in a season. I'm trying to think back to like, you know, they don't steal bases like they used to. No, they don't. Uh, Sammy did, but that was a long time ago. I don't yeah, think you're it was right. Sammy. Sammy was a 40 40 guy. 40 40 guy. Was he the most recent? Was he the most recent? Um, Sammy Sosa. Final answer? Yeah. 
forgot Juan Pierre. Juan Pierre. Ah, Robert. I was know, thinking of that era too, but you know what just happened? I did what I told people not to do. You should have stopped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Thanks for playing. All right, thank you. This is Kevin in a sweet old school Shaquille O'Neal right. Orlando Magic that's jersey. That's right. That's right. That's before he went chasing rings, right? Uh, he would have had a ring if he stuck it out. Yeah, I, think. I, I agree. Can we call you the Big Aristotle then too, or you want to just <laughs> you want to just Kevin's stick with good. Ke Kevin's good? Kevin's gonna be all right. Good, yeah. Where are you from, Kevin? Uh, Chicago. All right, beautiful. And you do White Sox trivia? That's right. All right, here we go for ten dollars. All you have to do is give me your best Hawk Harrelson play-by-play -play call. He gone. I'll take it. He gone, and you get 10 bucks. See, that was easy. All right. I all thought right. you were going to go with gas. Remember that one? <laughs> Will you risk the 10 and go for the 20? Yeah, we'll go for it. Okay, Kevin, here we go. Which White Sox player hit a home run this season in his Major League debut on Memorial Day? Oh, man. It just happened. Think back to Memorial Day. Major League debut, this guy hit a home run. He also had a single in the game. Man. Rodon. He's 28 years old. Rodon's already been played a game. So this, this was the guy's first game. How can I not think of this right now? I'm choking on national TV. <laughs> Oh, man. Matt, the first name is Matt. You'd, you would have had to have watched this specific game. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's not Matt Davidson, I know no, that. No, it's not. Yeah, he's got a few of them. Yeah. Um, Just throw a name out there. That's what <laughs> I say. Matt. Oh, man. I can't even think right now. Give up? Yeah, I guess so. Matt Skoll. Ever heard of Matt Skoll? I must have missed that game. He missed that one. That's all right. I take the 10 back. <laughs> the good news is you still got the throwback jersey. That's right. Warriors, come out and play. You ever seen that movie? Yeah, absolutely. Old My dad school, showed right? it to me when I was younger. Very good movie. I like, like the jersey. Another basketball jersey here. Chase, are you ready to play beer money? Yeah, ready to play. All right, we're going to give you Bears questions for $10. What is the name of the new Bears head coach? Matt Nagy. That was simple, right? That was 10 easy bucks. You could stop and walk away if you want. Okay. Let's or go. you keep going. Let's go at least one more. All right. Before Soldier Field, where did the Bears play? Mm. No intermittent seasons. Like, where did they play their home games before they played at Soldier Field? Did they play at Wrigley Field? Is that where you're going with Wrigley? Not if you're going to ask me like that. No, no, I'm no, not no, saying no. that. I, uh, anyways, I'm, I'm not going to deal. Yeah? It's Wrigley. All right. Okay, so now I've given you the 30 bucks. Okay. It's okay to walk away with the 30 and stop. Okay. Or you risk the $30 and try and win 100 more for the third question. All right, let's go for the hondo. You're going to risk it. Yeah, might as well. All right. What is the rest of the line in the Bears fight song after Bear Down, Chicago Bears? Bear Down, Chicago Bears. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Something, something, fight for victory. Oh, you got part of it. The end of it's right, so what? what is, victory is the last word of that sentence. Not sure I'm gonna Sing be able it for us again. Bear down. Bear down, Chicago Bears. Da -da 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 -da. Victory. We only want to come in here for victory. That's not at the answer. No, no. We only love the victory reason here. The first word is make. Bear down, Chicago Bears. Make da -da 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 -da. victory. No? Couldn't tell you. All right, sing it for us. Make every play. Clear the way to victory. That would have got you 130 bucks. It's fortunate I got That's take all that. right. Thanks for playing. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Take it easy.
This is Don from Evergreen Park. Don, tell us how you ended up on Beer Money. My son Liam's getting married on Saturday. I was picking up my tux across the street, and uh, my other son and I stopped in for a beer. I had no idea you were filming. I have a sock shirt on because I always do, and I have a Charlotte Knights hat because my good friend Brian O'Connell lives in Charlotte and sent it to me. Perfect. <laughs> you're ready to go. You're going to celebrate. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to win 130 bucks, and you take it to your son's wedding. You give it a little extra present. I will try. A little, I'm going to try little. my best. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can give it away. Sox trivia. For $10, who was the lone all-star in 2017 for the White Sox? Avisail Garcia. Avi Garcia is correct. $10. One third of the way there. You want to keep going? Yes, sir. All right, Don, here we go. $20. In what country was Avi Garcia born? Where's Avi from? Venezuela. Boom. There was a little bit of a question mark at the end, yeah, but I'm going to take it. I was questioning it, but. <laughs> you want to keep going? Or well, do you want to stop? Well, the uh, 30 bucks won't, won't, won't even pay for my plate on Saturday. No, maybe parking, <laughs> hopefully. You keep going, right? Yes, I'll, go, I'll keep going. All right. One hundred dollars. Here we go, Don. Within forty, what was Avi Garcia's batting average in 2017? Two ninety-four. Two ninety-four. The answer is three thirty. So you got it. Well done. Here it comes, Liam. <laughs> That's it. This is a big week for your family. It is. It is. We're very excited. There's the wedding, and then there's beer money, right? They, and we will be watching beer money. We watch the socks. They're a little tough to watch these days, but we're excited for the future. Well done. All right. Thanks, Luke. Okay, this is Tony. Tony, how did you end up playing? Uh, true to short straw here. Every, somebody wanted to play in the group, and it had to be you. It had to be me today. None of these guys stepped up. I figured I would, you know? You know what? You're going to show them why you were stepped up. I hope so. Here we go. $10 question. This is a, a show and tell. Show us your best Javier Baez pickoff move. Oh. How does Javi go with the tag? Stand up and show it. Well, I mean, I, I don't think you need to stretch. Right. You know, let's. Well, Javi, he's coming in from this way normally. It's, yeah, yeah. it's a quick snap. Snap. It should, right? just show me again. It's a quick snap. snap. That sort of hurt, though. Yeah. I don't want to get hit in the groin yeah. either, so I want to quick snap. step back. Very good. I'll Thank give you, you. I'll give you ten bucks for that. That was. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> you're done. That's it. You're done. I'll you're try out. for another one. So you. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh sh I'll try one you more. You took that ten dollars and you swiped it like a hobby tag. You know, hey, you gotta be quick, quick hands. All right, here we go. Twenty dollars. Anthony Rizzo, Javier Baez, Jason Hayward. Which of these Cubs did not play their high school ball in Florida? Javi. Two of them are two of them are from Florida. Uh, One of them is not. Javi. You said Javi, right? <laughs> you don't even know the three. What did I? Yeah, no, I forgot. Did you said Javi. Rizzo, Baez, oh, and Baez. Ha and Hayward. Baez, easy. The other two guys are from Florida. Yeah, Hayward and uh, Rizzo. Javi's from Puerto Rico. I know that. You're very racist. <laughs> He is from Puerto Rico, but he played at high school ball in Florida. Uh, the answer is Jason Hayward is from from uh, Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. They set you up. That was a trick question. I didn't That's set right. you up. Uh, they set you up. Hey, thanks for playing. Thank you. Thanks for being brave. The other guys weren't brave. Yeah, exactly. I'm out. This is Noel. Noel, I'm going to tell you right out of the gate, this is a tricky card. How much do you know about your Chicago Cubs? Well, I'm only 25, but I'll give it a shot. History well, wise. I'll tell you, it's, it's recent history, so you've got a shot. They're tricky questions. You ready for it? I'm ready. For $10, which Cubs player attended Dartmouth? Current Cubs player? Current Cubs player on the roster. He's a pitcher. He went to Dartmouth. Will that be Ivy League? Yeah, they call this kid the professor. Kyle Hendricks. All right. Give you a little help. Thank $10. You. Take that 10, Noel. Thank you. 
now, knowing that it's a tricky card, do you want to take the 10 and just stop and walk away, or do you want to risk the 10 and go for 20? Oh, let's just go for go it. Go for it? Let's go. That's the way you roll? That's the way I roll. All right, here we go. $20, where did Kyle Schwarber play his college baseball? Indiana. Who, who, who's yours? Just won you $20. Well done. Thank you. Now, $100 can be the toughest question, usually. You want to risk your $30 that you already have in your hand and go for the $100 question, or you want to take your 30 and walk away. Let's go for the 100 You're going to go for it. Let's go for it. All right, Noel, here you go. Which Ivy League school did Cubs first base coach Will Venable attend? Cubs first base coach went to an Ivy League school. Which one was it? Ooh, how smart is Will Venable? How smart is Will Venable? We already had a Dartmouth. Um. So you might not know this answer now, but you will after this, right? You'll never forget it. Never forget it. Ivy League school. Uh, just take a guess at an Ivy League school. Well, I know the number one, the all-famous one, but I don't know if that's the answer. Um, Yale. Want to go with Yale, final answer? Yes. Sure, why not? Princeton is the final. Ah, oh, Lord, the other one. Ah. Was that the other one you would have gone with? That's the other one. That's the only two really big Ivy schools I know. Sorry, but thanks for playing. Thank you very much. This is James, a White Sox fan, and you got your lucky green on, right, James? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Is this the St. Patrick's Day White Sox? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. if they played, this is what they would wear, right? Yeah, why not? I like it. Yeah. Green, you're going to win some green here, too. That's what I think. Let's win you some cash. Yeah, a little, yeah. So much green. Let's go. $10. What number did the White Sox retire to honor Frank Thomas? So, in essence, I'm asking you, what number did Frank Thomas wear? Um, 35. The big hurt was number 35. Well done. Now look, you got a little more green. You got a green hat, you got a green sweatshirt, and you got $10. You want to risk the 10 and keep going? Why not? All right, James, here we go. $20. What Hall of Famer was born on the exact same day as Frank Thomas? Yeah, a Hall of Famer was born on the same day. So you have a guy the same age, and this guy played his whole career for one team. Born on the same team. He was not in the same Hall of Fame class, but he was born on the same day. Okay, so that would be what, 1963. I'm gonna go with... Played for the same team his whole career. I'm gonna go with Cal Ripken. Cal Ripken, huh? That's a pretty good answer. Are you sure it's the right answer, though? Well, there we go. That was the first. I'm going to give you a clue. It was last year's Hall of Fame class, 2017. So he went three years after Frank into the Hall of Fame, and he played for the same team his whole career. Oh wow! Oh shoot! shoot. They um. And they just had it, too. He's a big guy. Big, big guy. Had a funny stance at the plate. Mm. Lefty or righty? Oh, I'm not going that far. Right? <laughs> I'm um, giving you a lot of clues here. Oh, oh, a funny yeah. stance at the plate. Yeah. Played for the same team his whole career, and he went into the Hall of Fame in 2017. Born on the same day as Frank Thomas. Wow. Real wide stance, and he kind of squatted down. Oh, oh man. It's not yeah. Cal Ripken. No. Give up? I mean, you know, I mean, and I just seen them talking about these guys. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it was just last, just last July. Yeah. Oh. 
Look at the stance the cameraman's giving you. He's giving you sort of squatting down like that, Frank. And that's how he stood at the plate. Uh-huh. the righty. Oh, jeez. Same team. Same team. He's a killer bee. Oh, oh, now you got it, Frank. Come on, I can't. Bagwell. Who? Jeff Bagwell. I mean, you oh, earned it. You man, earned it. That, you. that was been, right. That was giving of me, wasn't it? Oh, very nice. Tell everybody how nice I am. Oh, he looks like he's like my fantastic. That's what I appreciate that. Now, do you want to risk the $30 and go for the 100 uh, The 100 can be the toughest question. Well, of course. Or do you want to just take your 30 and walk away? That's a lot of green. Okay, I got to make a deal with me. If I refuse, will you tell me what the question was? If you walk away, I'll still give you the question, but you can't yeah. win the $100. Oh, no, no. You just want to an answer the question. Yeah, and you're going to walk away with the 30 Yeah, I'm, I'm going to walk. All right, yeah. here we go. I'll give you the question anyways. You keep the 30 bucks. In what two years did Frank Thomas win American League MVP? Oh, wow. Mm. 1993. Yeah, that's one of them. And four. Well, $30 is better. 93. You would have won it, though. You would have won 130. You had the right answer. 93, 94. 30 bucks is still better than nothing. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Did you have fun? Oh, fantastic. It's a deal. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Same here, Luke. That's a wrap for another edition of Beer Money presented by Coors Light. Big thanks to our friends here at the Whistle Sports Bar and Grill in Oak Lawn and, of course, our great sponsor, Coors Light. To find out where we're shooting our next episode, what you do is follow us on Twitter at NBCS Beer Money. I'm Luke Stuckmeyer. Thanks for watching and have a great night.